Yeah, specifically, we're standing right outside the Colony House apartments, and behind me there is still some police crime scene tape, and you can see, uh, if you're driving by, a uh, police vehicle with flashing lights, but very different scene than much earlier this morning when there were uh, many more units and detectives here trying to piece this together. So let me piece it together for you. Let's start at the first scene. Now, this is Riverside near Clipper, and uh, this morning about 2.45 is where they found a report of a gunshot victim associated with the car you see in this video. By the time first responders got here, they tried to do uh, life-saving measures and rush that victim to the hospital. However, that victim passing away from his gunshot injuries. As part of that investigation, that led, led police to the second scene, and that is where we are, the Colony House Apartments. And uh, early this morning, when we arrived here at 4 a.m., uh, a lot of crime scene investigators, a lot of police, and then ultimately a lot of detectives coming here because they realized the shooting actually took place here at this apartment complex, and it was the victim who then drove himself to that other scene and was found before being taken to the hospital. So that's why there's two scenes involved here. If we come back out here live, again, we're to the part of this uh, investigation is now much more methodical, much slower. Detectives now fanning out doing their work to try and piece together who's responsible. At last check, Sacramento Police saying uh, they do not have a known suspect. They did not release any potential suspect description, nor did they uh, explain to us what they know about what may have uh, led to this shooting. So all of that part of this ongoing investigation, they say if you know anything about this shooting, you're asked to contact them as they are, again, trying to piece this together to figure out who's responsible and then try and apprehend that suspect. Should also note that uh, for hours this morning, two different parts of Riverside Boulevard were shut down or impacted lane-wise, uh, but all traffic uh, has been reopened in the last hour or so. So no impacts to commuters, just a lot of work left to be done for Sacramento Police investigators as they continue to process what happened here and find out who's responsible for a deadly shooting. Live in Sacramento, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 News. Mike, thanks so much for that live report. We will continue to follow this investigation as it develops. For the very latest into your phone, just download the free KCRA 3 app and turn on your push alerts.